I recently did a video about five easy suspension upgrades and I still have a few more points that I wanna to touch on. In that video, the number one and two slots were torque lifts, upper and lower stable loads. They were in the number one and two spots because those were the very first upgrades that I ever did to our truck. I'm still extremely happy with them. And because of this, I kind of skimmed over some important details in that last video. A few months ago, Torque Lift sent me these stainless steel lower stable loads for me to test out and review. It took me a while to get around to installing them, but I did get them installed a couple of days ago. This was originally supposed to be an installation video using those lower stable loads. I decided to ditch that video idea and discuss some of the important information that I discovered while doing research for that video. When we first hit the road back in 2019, I wanted to see how things went before I started doing any upgrades. Within a few hundred miles, I noticed several problems. The biggest one was rear end sag, and that caused my headlights to be in the eyes of oncoming traffic. The second major issue was that the truck just felt soft and squishy. I did not feel confident driving it. Number three, there was too much bouncing, body roll, and a lot of porpoising, especially on bridge joints. Once we got to Florida, I had about a month to solve some of these problems. I started searching for easy and affordable options, and that quickly led me to Torque Lift Stable Load products. I found that the stable loads were advertised to solve many of the problems that I was having, and they were affordable and easy to install. Install. I also really like that they come with a lifetime warranty and their warranty covers the vehicle's factory leaf springs. Stable loads pre-engage the factory suspension. It does this by eliminating the gap between the upper and lower leaf springs, which means the truck doesn't have to squat quite as far to get the support of the overload springs. They get the main leaf pack and the upper and lower overload springs working together more quickly. The installation is pretty simple. Torquelift provides easy to understand instructions. They also provide excellent technical support if you need it. Etrailer.com also has some great install videos that walk you through the entire process. I'll leave a few of those links down below. Not all installations are as easy as what I had. I was really lucky. My truck came with upper and lower overload springs and the lower overload springs already had holes in them. In your lower overload spring, you need to have a hole for the, the stable load to bolt through. And what I had from the factory are these wear pads that sat right inside this factory hole However, some trucks do not have these holes and you will need to drill four holes through hardened spring steel. It's no easy feat. I watched a few videos of people drilling holes and I learned just how difficult this process is. I'll leave links to a few people doing this down below. Now, if you find yourself in a group of people that don't already have the holes in their leaf springs, you're in luck. Torquelift has a tool that you can borrow for free that will help you drill those holes. The tool comes with four extra drill bits and if additional drill bits are needed, Torquelift will provide them for an additional $10 each. So if you guys are interested in getting stable loads, make sure that you check out whether or not you need to drill holes in your leaf springs. If you do, save yourself some headache and borrow the tool. It'll eliminate hours of blood, sweat, and tears involved in manually drilling those holes. And according to Torquelift, you can drill these holes in as little as 37 seconds each. I would assume that's with plenty of practice with using the tool and the correct drill, but instead of it being hours per hole, it's gonna probably be a few minutes which is still much better than some of the stories I've heard and seen. So I've had my stable loads on our truck for about 60,000 miles and they show very little sign of wear. Where the leaf spring contacts this top plate, there's a little bit of wear, maybe one to two millimeters at its worst. I replaced these because Torque Lift was kind enough to send me out a free set of stainless steel stable loads. I installed these just a few days ago and they're exactly the same design as the originals. The biggest difference is that these won't rust and these do. You can definitely see that the rust is catching up with it. I would probably need to clean these up and repaint them to keep them fresh. And when I looked up the pricing on these, the stainless steel is only $5 more than the mild steel. So I think that these are the way to go. There's no powder coat to chip or peel and they should outlast the truck by many, many years. Torque lifts upper and lower stable loads were the starting point for my suspension upgrades. If you're dealing with sagging, soft suspension, sway, porpoising, or other issues related to hauling your truck camper, I would highly recommend trying stable loads first and see how your truck feels after that. All I ended up needing to feel confident driving the truck were the stable loads, a sway bar, and some new shocks. Now that I have those, driving the rig around is a dream. Our camper isn't the heaviest one around, so your needs may vary. However, I think the stable loads make an excellent foundation to build your suspension system on. For all the other upgrades and accessories that I plan to add to our rig in the future, I'd really like to stick with stainless steel and aluminum options whenever possible. Now, if you do need to drill holes in your leaf springs, make sure you borrow that stable load drill tool or find a shop nearby that can do the work for you. That wraps up my thoughts on Torque Lift stable loads. A big thank you to Torque Lift for sending these out to me. They should certainly stand the test of time. 
Make sure you leave your thoughts and questions down in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, you click the thumbs up, it really helps us. Click the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.